Welcome back to Journey Alberta, I'm Sean, and in today's video we're going to be doing another director's commentary, because we still have COVID going on, and uh, we're trying to respect social distancing, and trying to maybe stay home for now, still. So the video that we're going to be watching today is a camping trip that Danae and I did last summer to Ram Falls Provincial Park. It was a really fun trip, it was my first time camping up in the uh, David Thompson country area. Let's start the video. Welcome back to Journey Alberta. I'm Sean. This is my girlfriend, Danae. Today, we're going camping at Ram Falls Provincial Park. Yeah, we're going to Ram Falls Provincial Park, which is located south of Nordig. Or it's about 50 kilometers south or so. Long, longest drive from Calgary. Can get there, though. We're we'll leaving for us, at least. Momentarily, we need to get some gas and maybe a snack or two before we head out. Ram Falls Provincial Park. I believe it's straight west of Olds, kind of south of Norway. So it's west of Olds as well. So south of Norway. Got Nordic. a bit of a drive ahead of us, maybe a few hour drive. So uh, what do you say? It's a deceiving drive because a lot, although in some parts you might not cover a lot of distance in terms of kilometers, you have to go slow because it's on a gravel road that's very twisty and windy. So that kind of uh, extends the drive. Once you get into the uh, kind of the public land use zone area, the forestry trunk road. And that's the bridge right there. Can you go over that? And you're pretty much right at the campground. This is approaching from the south, I believe, as well. It's a nice little bridge to go over and a very nice drive along that gravel road, although it's a little sketchy in a couple parts. Still was a beautiful drive. And we're in one of the first come first well, serve spots. It seemed like forever driving on the gravel road highway, the forestry trunk road. We've made it to Ram Falls Provincial Park. And our campsite here is pretty close to the falls itself. We're gonna take a gander down there later, but first we're gonna start setting stuff up. So I believe I had a comment on one of the, I th it might be on this video actually on, um, on the video without the commentary, I mean. And someone said it looked like the campground was very empty. Um, and some of the other loops were a little busier than this one, but there was still a decent amount of people when we went out. This is in, this must be in August, I think. Yeah, this is August 2019. There were a decent amount of people there, but I found, and what I really liked about this campground was the space, the sites were very well spaced out. So. There are other people here. You don't notice them though because uh, sites are well spaced out. Every single camping video I do as well, you're gonna see me setting up the tent and the air mattress, pumping it up. I love doing that show. Well, normally this is the part where I would start a fire, but today someone else wanted to do it. My girlfriend, Danae. He's going to attempt to start the fire with a flint striker. He's going to try. <laughs> and that was her first time ever doing that. In fact, let's get her and see what she has to say about doing this for the first time. So Danae is here now. And this is the Ram Falls Provincial Park camping video. Ooh, okay. And you are starting your first fire right here with a flint striker. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Was that really the first time I did it? That was the first time she ever had done it. It only took her like a few strikes too. Yeah, that's right. I actually thought it wasn't going to light, so I was pretty surprised with myself that All it right. did. Yeah. Well, let's see it. <laughs> you did it. Wow. Yes. Did it. Yeah. And then the excitement, <laughs> we, didn't really, we, didn't, we didn't put anything else on right there, right then and there in that moment. And I'm pretty sure the fire actually did go out. Yeah, I think it did, and I think you had to light it again because I was just so excited. Yeah, that was really fast. Good job. Yeah, I can tell you relit that one. We, we relit it because it died a little bit. Nice little fire there. Mm -hmm. That was a nice little spot actually. It was. Definitely one of the better 
camping trips. All of them were good that we had last year. I think it was six to Took eight. Up a couple hot dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Camping trips. They were all good. I wasn't a fan of the road leading in. I'm just not a big fan of gravel roads. So. <laughs> I had <laughs> That's mentioned just a before. Yep. And then uh, after that, once we make sure that the fire is properly extinguished. We're gonna head over to Ram Falls itself. Check out the waterfall. And that was a waterfall that <clears throat> I'm not even sure if I had really even seen pictures of before we even came out here. I just had known about it. I knew it was big. Now, just along the, and that's the pretty much it. In the provincial park. Kind of wanted it to be here. a bit of a surprise for us. It should take us right to where the parking lot is for the day use area that's here. And so <coughs> Ram Falls and the viewpoint that's there. It's a nice little. Uh, it was a very quiet down, camp, It was very road. quiet. I was saying before the, uh, the, at the, of the, the sites were very well spaced out. Mm -hmm. so, pretty but even walking wall. over to where the falls were, like, it, we really couldn't hear people. Like, no. I, I think everyone there was pretty person. respectful too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's been a problem with campgrounds we've been in where a few individuals decide <laughs> they want to be very, very loud and the entire campground can hear them. Every loop. You know what I'm talking about if you've been camping. Especially on like a long weekend, which I try to avoid. <laughs> yeah, fun fact about the water pump, I didn't think it was gonna work. <laughs> so when the water came up, there's a longer scene where I stand there like, woohoo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's a shot by Danae. Oh, I was gonna say, who took that? <laughs> thought you set that up. <laughs> no. So we've kind of got this little rail right here, as you can see beside me. And wow, like you can see a lot of the valley opening up. It's like, I don't know if it's cold on the edges of these uh, kind of cliff sides here. It's beautiful. And there's the stairs I can see, a little boardwalk to get down to the viewpoint. Today is somewhere far ahead of me because I think she's pretty excited to see it, so I better catch up. And there's the waterfall and the stairs leading down to it. What I did notice about this provincial park like despite how almost remote it kind of felt like it kind of felt like it was almost in the middle of nowhere in a way but like it was very well maintained like the campgrounds were nice like the water yeah. like the going down to the waterfall the platform here is very was great. sturdy it was a really nice provincial park and if, if it wasn't for that road leading in which is just so <laughs> so long and on the yes. gravel road so windy i probably would go back if we did go back i would probably approach from the north because it was a shorter route okay Which I think had us come out near Nordig. That's right. Now, I don't think I even mentioned it in this video or not, but there were some, let's just say not super smart people, for lack of better words. Um, they went down, so you can see in the shot right here, is, there's the river and everything, and these very, they don't look super steep, the hills on the left, but they are very, very <laughs> steep. Not like a 90 degree angle, but probably know, maybe a guess. 60 degree. Yeah, or, it's, like it was 60. it's very very steep. But there were some people that decided that they wanted to go down to the to the, to the river there, and they were really struggling to get back up, and like they almost fell quite a few times. And I think the one guy did slide a bit. You and slid. I were a little bit worried. And we were like, uh oh. So we yeah. actually had our phones ready. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so, it was a little scary. <laughs> so that's why uh, there is guard guardrails, a plat a viewing platform for the waterfall. That's why they're there, <laughs> and that's why there's not a sign saying you can go down to the water. I think I didn't would... I ask you too? Like if you got stuck down there, how would you get rescued? And I think you told me it had to be helicopter. I mean, potentially at that yeah. situation. <laughs> so you really got to be mindful of your surroundings and um, analyzing what could be could be potentially dangerous. Let's keep going. The water was very beautiful though. Mm -hmm. And these shots actually make the waterfall seem a lot smaller than it is. It's, it's, it's quite big. <laughs> yep. <laughs> make my way back now. Danae, once again, has gone ahead of me. She's very fast. <laughs> very fast since her ankle healed up. Being broken. Oh yeah, I guess the cast February. just came off at this point. Yeah. You know, like so long leaving ago. Here, <laughs> leaving the waterfall. Probably gonna go back to the campsite and just hang out for now. Relax. But uh, I really enjoyed the waterfall. Amazing views. Just incredible. 
Definitely one of the nicer waterfalls like I, before, I think that uh, we've seen. One thing to see a picture of it. I wish you still had a drone. Big, uh, to be out here and actually see it first. But they're not allowed in provincial parks though, right? Nope, can't no, fly drones in provincial parks. Very hard to fly drones anywhere really anymore. That's why I ended up selling mine. It wasn't really worth it anymore to have it with so few places to legally fly it. Oh, see, there we go, fire attack. And we have a, we actually, if you can see in Danae's, uh, in Danae's hand there, Danae's learned, <laughs> there's a fire bundle there, a bunch of, there's some birch bark that we, a bunch of stuff that we brought from home, and a bunch of little twigs and stuff that I cut up, and yeah, the birch bark there works really well as fire starter, if I've never mentioned that before. Yeah, you can see, it's, it lights up like paper. It. Yeah, all I had to do was place it down. <clears throat> I forgot you did it, did, uh, two fires. I Let's think check. I asked to do it again. I think you did. Because I wanted to see if I could. <laughs> you want, she wanted to not only be able to use the flint striker and get a big ball of cotton lit, but she wanted to actually start the fire and keep it, keep it started. Keep it going. Yeah. Those are always good meals when we're camping. I feel like we haven't had one in a while. We haven't had a cheddar block of rice. <laughs> Maybe actually not since, since this, but we, we always have sidekicks. <laughs> Also, a fun fact about those bowls that we're eating in, they are foldable bowls, so when they fold up, they're, like, smaller than the, thinner than the width of my, uh, finger here. They're pretty nice. And they hold the heat really well. Mm -hmm. And whatever you're eating, so that's nice, too. <laughs> and easy to clean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, Danae doing one of the... One of, the, one of the things she loves to do when we're camping, reading. which is reading. I don't remember what book that is, though. <laughs> Trying to figure it out here. Maybe I show the cover at some point. I feel like it might be Stephen King, though. Just looking at the So, phone. Danae and I have crawled into the tent here. It's nighttime, maybe around 9 or 10 p.m. Yeah, we went pretty, we, we actually ended it's up going like to bed a lot of nights, a lot of nights pretty early, because... Oh, it's a lot to drive all the way out there and just it was dark. Yeah, I mean, no, it wasn't dark, but it wasn't super dark yet. Cool. It's huge. It takes a lot out when you're getting there in that just that one day. That was probably one of the highlights of the day for me. And tomorrow, I'm looking forward to breakfast. It's gonna be a good one. So, see you in the morning. <laughs> I like doing those kind of transitions where I would put my hand right into the camera like that, so it goes dark. Yep. Neat little trick. 7 a.m. We got up at 7 a.m. Today went to the back. I think we, I think we, I think we would, we would go, we would wake up early because of the sun getting up. The sun going up. Yeah. So we would just naturally start to wake up, and it would start to get warmer in the tent too, and that I think would wake us up. Slept for like 10 hours. Always had restful sleeps though. Yeah, we we had pretty good sleeps, except for um, <laughs> one of our, one of our nights at the Interlakes Campground, which we'll definitely do. Uh, a commentary on that one and we can we'll tell you we'll go into a bit more detail we talk about it in the video but we'll go into we can go into more detail uh in that so darkest commentary feel a little bit of the year ready so if you'll notice it's always sean who starts the fires in the morning because i refuse to get out of the tent and out of the sleeping bag i'm too cold so if you uh -huh. notice by the time i get out i've got a hoodie on and i'm bundled up <laughs> yep and very close to the fire <laughs> yeah i generally try to get a nice warm fire going in the mornings yeah that was a good well, breakfast too. Breakfast. How did you find breakfast in it? I think I'm still thinking about Delicious. the food in this scene. <laughs> so pretty good. sure. Probably are. <laughs> it's warm me up a little bit now. I'm thinking that I'm cold. I think. Yeah, cold you, yeah, you look cold. cold. Mm -hmm. I think you wanted to go in the car because the car was warmer at that point. Yeah. We were yeah. backing up the car. Clean up the campsite. Make sure it's it was the way the sun was coming in. It was hitting the car food. first. Here's the way you found it. Or even better, actually. Leave it perfect for steam condition. So that's what we're going to do. We'll start with taking the tent down. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I, oh, there's a few things that went wrong actually with this shoot. There was, I just remembered this. There's some major things that went wrong with this video shoot. Oh, I'm trying to remember it. Which cam, which memory card? One of my memory cards, when I got back home, I deleted everything That's off of right. it. That's right. You had to do I, like a memory I, Yeah, it was this, I had, to, I had to buy some software or something like that. Some kind of software online to and be very careful when you're doing that as well. 
I had to buy some software to like ex try and ex like recover and extract those videos files that were deleted off my memory card, which miraculously I was able to do. And then on the shoot, I'm pretty sure there's no more shots in this video anymore. And the video is almost over of um, my normal camera, the one that I'm shooting this video on, not the, any of the GoPros, because all my other batteries were dead. I had the one battery, which I, I went through and the cold of the night chilled it down. So it was dead by the, pretty much dead by the morning. I got like three shots with it and that was it. <laughs> and so then this wasn't even the end of our trip. This is the end of this video close to it. But the end of our trip was we went back through Nordegg, Crescent Falls, Abraham Lake, That's and right. then Banff Lake Louise. Yeah. We went back through that way. That's a whole nother video, <laughs> which you'll have to, we'll have to do that one as well, I guess. Um, Cause I don't have that, my main camera for that one. So guess you'll have to see uh, and hear from me how I may do. It also noticed too, it's paused right now. Uh, I get stuck in the same area by the tent. The reason for that. Oh, that's right. Uh, some of the pegs got, um, I think they were stuck behind rocks or something. They were the like ground. embedded in the ground uh, just, just too hard. We just couldn't get them out. So I'm just so struggling trying to pull them out. Danae's trying for 15 minutes to get a peg, yes, peg out right. while, while I am taking the <laughs> tent down. The rest of it, yeah. Cleaning up the entire campsite. <laughs> Well, that's it for our camping trip. Yeah, that's yeah. the last time. I really like this That's me trying to get a peg out. I really nice thought I could get it, too, because like I got a decent chunk From of it here, out of there. And we're I was going like, to be yeah. heading I just, I back couldn't to Cali, and then there's another one. The long way. There's another, another one, corner. yeah. And then we, next we, we had to bring out the little shovel. We, we eventually, yeah, we tried We we tried all of our tools. We got it eventually, though. Check that out, and then probably the week after, we're going to be going to Crimson Lake Provincial Park, so that's going to be a fun trip as well. We'll see you next week. Make sure to subscribe for new videos coming every Friday. Yep, these are all GoPro shots at the end. Yeah. All right, well, we have had fun, I think, re-watching this video together and kind of giving you guys a bit more kind of background info on it. It was uh, definitely a different kind of video, <laughs> <laughs> considering I deleted all the footage by accident when I, I got home. I about that. I can't remember even what happened. But yeah, I had deleted all the footage managed to recover it miraculously so haven't done i have done that before god that was a, that was even, that was even worse that was even worse because that was when i was on a, on a multi-day camping trip so i'll do that i'll do that video there's a water tent video i'll do that one in the future do you want to do more director's commentaries today i do actually yeah these are fun so yeah so we'll do some more at some point soon hopefully you've enjoyed watching we've enjoyed making it subscribe uh we've been getting a lot of new subscribers and a lot of new views lately so thank you for all of your support we really appreciate it so yeah subscribe if you haven't we'll see you next week Bye.